What's that? J. Roos. I grew up watching the Rocky movies, which really got me into boxing. I talked about that on an old video. Who do you think would have won a fight between Clubber Lang and Ivan Drago? That would have been the ultimate toe-to-toe -to -toe slugfest. People don't realize as fierce and as tough as Ivan Drago was, you know what he did to Creed in Rocky IV. You saw how strong he was when he pushed Rocky and had him flying in the corner. He even sent him to the hospital, Stallone says in real life when they were filming, he punched him in the chest and Stallone's uh, heart swell, swelled or swole up and the helicopter had to fly him in to, uh, to get treated. So Dolph Lundgren was no joke, no joke in real life, no joke in the movies. But who would have won in the movies between Clubber Lang and Ivan Drago? And like I was saying, um, Ivan Drago was the seen as the fiercest, uh, you know, kind of futuristic heavyweight, kind of like what the Klitschko's ended up being, the Lennox Lewis's, uh, fighters like that, you know. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, Clubber Lang was the only fighter, though, to knock out Rocky, and he did that in two rounds. Drago went the distance as hard as he hit. Clubber Lang was the only fighter, at least that they showed, to knock out Rocky when he was at his best. So, who will win that fight? Clubber Lang, Mr. T, Ivan Drago, Dolph Lundgren. Ivan Drago definitely had the better skills in the ring. He looked like a real fighter, which he did martial arts and, I believe, kickboxing. So who – wow, it's tough to say because it would have been a slugfest. It's almost like who would land the hardest blow first, maybe like uh, – Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Wow. It's definitely not going the distance, not with those two sluggers. Ah, man. I don't know. I got to go back and rewatch the movies and make a decision. <laughs> wow. J. Roos Theory, beat down the like button, comment, share, subscribe. And remember, I cannot be defeated.